Welcome everybody, this is Ian from baumannmusic.com and today I want to show you how to loop and extend background music by using the BPM tempo of your song. This uh, technique will work for any modern beat-based music such as uh, pop music, electronic music, hip-hop and even for rock songs. The song I will use is one of my audio jungle items and sounds like this. And by the way, if you like this song, you will find a link in the video description. On professional stock music websites like Audio Jungle, you will find the BPM count for each music item somewhere in the song details. For this song, the tempo is 115 BPM, as you can see here, so let's keep this number in mind. For this demo I will use Adobe Premiere, but of course you can also use this technique in any other editing software. I have already created an empty project and I just imported my song to the timeline as you can see here. So now I switch over to the calculator and use a simple formula to find out the exact duration of my loop. One minute has uh, 60 seconds, so I type in 60 divided by 115, which is my BPM. Multiply with uh, 16, and that's because one loop has mostly 16 beats. If 16 doesn't work at all, you may also try 8 or 32, and only in rare cases you might try 24 or 48. Now, for me, the result is 8 seconds and some milliseconds after the period. We should keep those 8 seconds in mind and work on just with the digits after the period. So I will subtract 8 and now only the milliseconds are left. In the last step, I want to convert those milliseconds into video frames. As I can see in Premiere, my video project is on 30 frames per second, so I simply multiply this value with 30. And the result is around 10 frames. So the final duration for our music loop should be 8 seconds, as you remember, and 10 frames. Let's check this out in Premiere. Just to make editing easier for myself, I usually create a little helper object. This may be a transparent video for instance. And I drop my helper on the timeline and I set its duration exactly to 8 seconds and 10 frames. So now I can use this little clip to cut loops from my song wherever I need them. Let me just size up the wave track a bit to see more of the song structure. And now let's drop the helper somewhere here in the middle of the beat. Maybe not exactly on the highest peak, it's better to drop it somewhere in between. And now finally I just use the razor tool to cut my loop left and right. Make sure that the snap function is turned on right here. And now I will create some space to the right. Copy and paste my loop and attach the rest of the song and listen to the transition. And just if you like, you may still place a short crossfade from the effects panel. And that's basically it. So finally, I hope this technique will help you a lot for your projects. If you have any problems with looping your music, just feel free to drop a comment below and I will try to assist you. And don't forget to hit on the subscribe button for future updates on music and editing. Thank you, see you again and bye bye.